Hey everyone, in this video we are going to see how we can use DialogueWise to power the contents of your Flutter app. Before we start, we'll have a quick look at a platform. DialogueWise is a headless CMS which means your content can easily be delivered through our CDN to any platform like a website, mobile app, or even IoT. Our global CDN comes with advanced caching techniques providing you a fast, secure, and scalable platform. In addition, you also get some unique features like location and device-based content delivery, custom scripting, image transformations, and much more. You can check them out on our features page. Let's now log in and check out your account. Once you've logged in, you can see on the dashboard the API key and email hash. You will need to provide this as part of the payload in your app. We'll see that shortly. You can also see that it shows you your API usage and on the right side, it shows you the number of times your contents are being viewed by your users. Because this is a new account, there's not much data here. Every account comes with a sample content that you can play around with. Let's check it out. So this is content for food e-commerce store. As you see, here it shows you details like dish name and photo. Notice that every item also has a location as well. This indicates the location for which this content will be displayed. This is helpful when you want to geo-target your products. So let's create a Flutter app. So this is a famous hello world. Now, to integrate dialogue-wise, we need to import the package. Let's do that. Dialogue-wise. Save. Okay, now that we have imported it, let's prepare the payload. Let's create a function. So we need to go, this is the request. So you can go to DialogWise Flutter package, as you can see here how it's being requested. Let's copy this one. Sure. Contents. Just paste it here, and then return it, uh, import the package, there you go. Then next is we need to fill up the slug, API key, and email hash. So let's go back to DialogWise dashboard. Copy the API key, the email hash, then the slug. Oops. Save it. Now now that you have the payload ready, all you need to do is call the service with the payload. So let's create a widget first. So let's point the feature to this function. Then let's create the builder. OK, 
Okay. Uh, in the builder, you can say the snapshot dot connection state. Let's check if it's ready. If it's waiting, then let's just try to return. Please wait. It's loading. Then if it's done, let's get the data. Snapshot data dialog. Then we can create a list. Builder, builder, text, then index. Then we need to pass the count. Go. Then let's make a row. So thinking it's really expanded. Let's go with the image first. Around oh, sorry, dish let's create the next. Let's create a column. It's children would be the title. Then the description. There we go. Let's say flex two. This other one would be flex four. Let's save it, then reload it. Okay, let's replace this one. That's it. Let's run this thing and see how it goes. You can now see the contents displayed in our app. So let's try to fix this HTML. Save it. There you go. It looks better. Let's make a small content change and see if it reflects here. So for example, let's change this fried calamari. Let's go back to dialog wise and click on edit. The next. find that fried calamari oh there we go sorry let's edit this one say yummy yummy fried calamari let's save it then next Next, next, 
then publish it. So once you're done publishing it, let's now refresh and see. There you go. You can see it's now showing the latest content, which is yummy fried calamari. That's it. In less than 10 minutes, we have now integrated the contents within our app that can easily be edited and published. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. We'll be coming up with more videos, so make sure you subscribe. Also, at the end of this video, you can see our GitHub link where you can find the entire source code of this app.